Good farming is one of the main reasons why we have food served on our tables. And today, you are about to witness some of the best and modern smart farming system you haven't normally seen before. Hi everyone, how's it going? This is Richard Aguilar and of course, this is Arthur and welcome back again to our channel. And before we get started, be sure to subscribe and smash the bell icon so that you will always be updated with our new videos. So without further delay, this video is all about the rise of smart farming system worldwide. And since we don't want to waste your time, Let's proceed to our video. Number one is high-tech farming. Mushrooms grow on multiple layers of shelves. LED lights replace sunlight, while electric fans serve as wind in this tightly closed space. The temperature Humidity and carbon dioxide levels are all kept under control. Crops growing without sunlight. Robots watering and fertilizing crops on their own. These are just some of the modern marvels of high-tech farming utilizing artificial intelligence. Plucked from the pages of science fiction, such senses are gradually become a reality. Number two is newly developed bell pepper in farming. Bell pepper farmers are faced with difficulties to distribute their products, with a domestic market reaching a saturation point. A young farmer in his 30s has developed a new variety of bell pepper and is working to find new markets at home and abroad. A greenhouse as large as a soccer field, bell peppers over 10 times bigger than ordinary ones can be found here. This variety is called banana pepper for its shape resembling the fruit. With a softer texture, banana bell pepper has a sugar content 2 or 3 bricks level higher than that of most other varieties. Number three is smart farming on the rise. Countless efforts have been made over the years to use technology to make farm work less taxing. Now, company and the Korean government are looking to make things even more efficient with the help of smart farms with greater connectivity and intelligence. Number four is cultivation of subtropical crops.
As Korea's climate grows increasingly hotter, Chungcheongnam-do province is expected to see its average temperature jumps 3.2 degrees over the next 30 years. Now the province is stepping up efforts to find crops that will best grow in the subtropical climate. Christopher Columbus is said to have called papaya the fruit of the angels after he first tasted it in America. It contains seven times more vitamin C than an orange, four times more calcium than milk, and 36 times more magnesium than eggs. Number 5 is Smart Farms Built in Unconventional Sites Smart Farms refer to agricultural facilities that adopt information and communication technology to remote control the operation of farms. They are usually operated on farming fields. However, here is a farm built on an unconventional site. This smart farm was created inside a closed, abandoned expressway tunnel. Number 6 is New Smart Farming Technology Enables Farmers to Use Voice Commands Smart Farm Technology was designed to help farmers, but the smartphone-based systems are difficult for older people. Now. Korean researchers have developed a new system that's operated through voice commands. Many farms are interested in smart farming, but older farmers have been hesitant because some systems are difficult to operate. Another recently developed smart farm technology utilizes movable solar panels. The system produces electricity using solar panels and manages crops through remote devices. Number 7 is Farming Meets High-Tech System A Seoul-based startup has unveiled a smart farming solution that analyzes sensors, the IoT and big data to provide an optimized environment for crop production. A smart farm system is expected to address the shortage of manpower in rural areas and improve productivity as well as crop quality. Meet Science Farm that combine expertise of farming and cutting-edge information technology to promise easier and more efficient agricultural practices for farmers. So that's all for now. I hope you have enjoyed watching this video. If you have something to say about this video, please leave some comment below. Once again, this is Richard Aguilar and this is Arthur. Thanks for watching and see you on the next video.